Hello, Dennis Cosgren here, geologist at Montgomery College. I have here a sample of aluminum silicate, Al2SiO5, called kyanite. And it's of great interest because it's a, it's a measure of the pressure under which the rock was put. The three different forms occupy three different regions in a pressure-temperature phase diagram. Under high pressure, over here, kyanite is stable. Under high temperature, the, this area here is stable. That's called sillimanite. And down here, with high temperature and low pressure, we have andalusite. These three minerals are all quite common, depending on what the rock has gone through. The, uh, it's a metamorphic mineral, meaning it's formed under high pressure and temperature. And this is what happens to clay when it gets heated up and you drive off the water. Which form of aluminum silicate forms depends on the pressure and the temperature. One other interesting fact about this, uh, the Greek word for blue, for this shade of blue, is cayenne, and so kyanite literally means blue rock in ancient Greek. The fun thing is, though, that aluminum and silicon and oxygen are all colorless. None of them have any color. This has even got its name from the blue color. That happens because you can stick uh, just a little bit of titanium in it, too. Titanium is one of the transition elements and as such it can give a color to whatever the mineral is and so the blue color here comes from the impurity of titanium some kyanite doesn't have any titanium that's a lot harder to recognize because everybody assumes kyanite is blue and 95 percent of the time you're right but not with this and not with most of it can i touch it of course and you think how old is this rock I do not know. It could, it could be any age whatsoever. This was given to me without any locality information, so I do not know the age. I do not know where it came from. You want to try and drop, spit some hydrochloric acid? <laughs> uh, well, hydrochloric acid would do nothing. Right, right. Strong bond, huh? Oh, it does have one. Well, it does have one very interesting property. If you measure the hardness of this, uh -huh. it turns out if you scratch this face here, it's softer if you scratch in this direction and harder if you scratch in this direction. I so see. it's a little bit weird that way. The structure, the lattice. The, yeah, the, stru the structure is a little bit complicated. Okay. Uh, the aluminum in this is. Uh, five uh -huh. coordinated, uh -huh. which is very unusual. Wow. Yeah. Uh, anyway, no, no, excuse me. This, it, it's six coordinated in this because it's high pressure. One of the other phases is the, the one that's low temperature, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, high, high temperature, low pressure, is uh, five coordinated. And the aluminum over here in the highest temperature area is four coordinated. Mm -hmm. And that's commonly the case in that high pressure leads to high coordination number. That's the number of oxygens that fit around it. Whereas high temperature leads to lower coordination number. So these three forms of aluminum silicate illustrate that principle nicely. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Excellent. You're very welcome. Yeah.